to this wasteland. I am the one who runs to both the living and the dead. For whatever reason, War Thunder decided that it would be awesome to create a Mad Max themed event. Your goal in this mode is to search the wasteland looking for resources and other parts that you can use to upgrade your current vehicles and even research some new ones. But the catch is that everybody on the enemy team is also searching the wasteland for parts and resources. This will undoubtedly lead to an engagement that risks everything both of you have picked up to this point. The victor, if there is one, will have the chance to pick up anything that the opponent has scavenged from the wasteland. This leads into one of the most important resources you can find off of an enemy. Rage Tokens While the other resources you're picking up can be lost in battle, Rage Tokens, for the most part, stick with you even in death. Now there is a danger to having Rage Tokens unlike any other resource. Upon reaching 5 Rage Tokens, you will be revealed to the map to every player in the lobby. And that on the map right here? That is somebody having five rage points and being absolutely nutty. Just because your position is revealed to the enemy doesn't tell the lobby what you're carrying. However, smart players will understand that somebody that's been killing everybody most likely is carrying something that's worth obtaining. This will lead smart players to band up together near the exits or to push in what's called a war party. And this, dear viewer, is where our lesson about this game comes in. Oh, on your butt, on your butt, on your butt. I'm behind cover at this point, doesn't matter. No, 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 this guy right here. Wait, what? Another one. You're sneaking up on you. A oh, one shot me. What the frick was that? In theory, you can go into the wasteland, grab all the stuff you need, kill the people you need to kill, and get out. While in theory this works well, it doesn't help when there's 4 or 5 enemies that have teamed up against you at an exit. This is where pairing up with a teammate or having someone in the discord that you can communicate with comes in greatly. And because of some simple communication between my teammates, I was able to blockade run through 4 or 5 enemies like it was Star Wars.
This is simply how you play the Mad Max gameboat. Strike hard, strike fast, strike together. And that's about all I got for storytelling. The rest of this video is just a compilation of some of my favorite moments. Bro, he's gonna kill me. I can't do anything. He did. Stuck 14. I'm getting hit. I can't do anything yet. This guy's gonna get me. I can finally move. I'm dead. Oh, I got him. There's another guy. Oh, yeah. I want, like, now that I've gotten the taste from this game, I want a... Right here, right here. Target destroyed. There's stuff here. Come get this. What's up, nerd? Somehow, you have made it to the end of this video. And in doing so, you have activated my trap card, which is, in this case, Ecclesiastes 4, 9-12. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm. But how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three, even better. For a triple braided cord is not easily broken. I think you can kind of glean what that means. It's pretty straightforward, not too crazy. If you got a couple people that you can trust and band together with, you're going to be harder to take down. And that's a good lesson for this world that we live in. And that's it. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.